everyone, this is Haley from Cruise Blog, and today we're going to be discussing some pros and cons of Norwegian Cruise Line. Let's get started. Norwegian Cruise Line is one of my favorite cruise lines in the industry. I appreciate their commitment to bringing great cruise vacations to their guests for reasonable prices. Plus, they're one of the best in the industry at offering something for everyone on board. Over the past 12 months, I've been able to cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line six times and currently have three additional sailings booked for 2024. From these experiences, I've gained some insight into what some of the pros and cons of NCL might be for prospective travelers. Because Norwegian is the cruise line I've sailed with the most, it tends to have more pros for me than cons personally. However, there are some important negatives that potential cruisers should be aware of before booking a sailing with Norwegian Cruise Line to avoid any disappointment. First up, a pro. A ship for everyone. Perhaps one of the biggest pros for Norwegian Cruise Line is the sheer size of their fleet. Currently, Norwegian Cruise Line has 19 vessels, with a new Norwegian aqua ship scheduled to make its debut in 2025. With 19 different cruise ships to choose from, there's a wide variety of vessels for prospective guests to choose from, meaning that they are capable of providing a wide breadth of opportunities and variety to their passengers. Whether someone is looking for an exciting Caribbean voyage on a brand new ship or a more relaxed sailing to Northern Europe on an older vessel, Norwegian Cruise Line has something for everyone. I highly recommend researching each Norwegian Cruise Line ship thoroughly before making any decisions. Next up, a con. Extra charges for activities. One of the things I like least about Norwegian Cruise Line is the upcharge for activities, including the renowned Speedway, Laser Tag Course, and Virtual Reality Galaxy Pavilion venue. Usually these added fees are about $10 to $15 per person to participate. And while this might not seem like too much of a charge, these small charges can start to add up rather significantly throughout a cruise vacation, especially if you're traveling as a larger family. With that being said, not all activities on board Norwegian Cruise Line cost extra. Many onboard activities are complimentary, such as the water slides. However, it is important to know which onboard activities do cost extra to avoid any potential disappointment. Pro, entertainment and nightlife. Something Norwegian Cruise Line does a great job on nearly every ship is their entertainment and nightlife offerings. There are always countless bars and lounges to explore, oftentimes more than six or seven at least. Entertainment on board is often exceptional and is something to not be missed. Some of my favorite cruise entertainment has been on board Norwegian Cruise Line ships, especially their newer vessels that feature Broadway-style shows. For guests looking to dance the night away, there is no need to worry. Nearly every Norwegian Cruise Line ship has themed dance parties conducted during any given sailing. From 80s-themed dance parties to the infamous glow party and silent disco, those who love dancing are sure to find a place to show off their best moves. Next up, a pro. Unique and adventurous itineraries. Whether it is to the Caribbean, Australia, Northern Europe, or Asia, Norwegian Cruise Line sails to nearly every corner of the globe. Currently, Norwegian Cruise Line sails to the following destinations and regions around the world. Alaska, the Caribbean, Hawaii, the Mediterranean, Bermuda, Northern Europe, Transatlantic Sailings, Panama Canal, Asia, South America, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Bahamas, Mexico, South Pacific, Canada, New England, the Greek Isles, and Pacific Coastal Cruises. Next up, a con, more onboard price gouging. In addition to the fees for select onboard activities, Norwegian is known for some other paid extras. For example, Norwegian Cruise Line charges guests for the ability to message other passengers on board. This cost is currently $10 for the duration of a cruise sailing. Other cruise lines, such as Royal Caribbean, currently offer the onboard messaging system as a complimentary feature. Next up, a pro, airfare through Norwegian Cruise Line. For those who would like to or need to fly to their cruise embarkation port, Norwegian Cruise Line offers a flight program in which they can assist guests with booking airfare for them and managing flight details. Oftentimes, Norwegian will offer flight deals as part of cruise promotions. When these promotions are running, it can mean that booking airfare through the cruise line can be much more affordable than booking airfare on your own. I have booked airfare through Norwegian Cruise Line twice now and have had a great overall experience both times. Next up, a con. Limited shorter sailings. For guests looking for short and quick weekend getaways, Norwegian Cruise Line may not have the most to choose from. Norwegian's itineraries tend to be longer, with the majority of sailings lasting about a week or more. That being said, there are some shorter voyages, most of which are conducted in the Caribbean or Bahamas and embark from the state of Florida. 
Occasionally, Norwegian Cruise Line will have shorter length sailings in other regions of the world as well. For example, last year I tried out Norwegian Cruise Line's studio staterooms for the first time during a four-night sailing from California to Vancouver, British Columbia. This was a great weekend cruise. Next up, a pro. Friendly crew members and staff. Something that I've experienced on board all Norwegian Cruise Line sailings is wonderful crew members on board. NCL does a great job at customer service, and nearly every crew member we have come in contact with has been very nice, friendly, and helpful. Many times, Norwegian Cruise Line crew members have gone above and beyond and have been a significant reason for our enjoyment of the cruise in general. Next up, a con. Caters to mostly adults and older children. While this might not be a con to everyone, it is something to consider. While Norwegian Cruise Line does have many programs for children on board many of their ships, we have noticed that overall they seem to be a cruise line for adults and older children. When compared to other cruise lines, such as Disney Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean, I have noticed that generally there seem to be fewer younger children on board Norwegian Cruise Line ships. The amenities for children may just be smaller or have limited activities when compared to other cruise lines that have more of an emphasis on family travel. Next up, a pro, flexible dining. Perhaps one of the largest pros and benefits of cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line is their freestyle cruising mantra that allows guests to dine whenever or wherever they like. There is no schedule for guests when it comes to dining, as they're able to pick and choose exactly when and where they would like to eat. This means that there is no assigned dining times or seats like on other cruise lines. Additionally, since there's no assigned seating, passengers will not be assigned to any kind of rotational dining and will not be seated with other cruisers unless they specifically choose to. This flexible dining system is a large pro when it comes to cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line. It gives guests the ability to see a show, explore a port, or just relax by the pool without having to structure their entire day around an assigned dinner time. Next up, a con, Norwegian Cruise Line app. Those who have cruised with Norwegian Cruise Line before will know that when it comes to their app, things are not always seamless. After several cruise sailings with NCL, I can now navigate the app much more easily. However, at first glance, the app is not always the most efficient. I recommend that all passengers download the app well ahead of time and spend some time familiarizing themselves with all the features. This will help prevent any frustration during the cruise. Next up, a pro, beautiful and clean ships. I have found every NCL ship that I've sailed on to be beautiful and well-maintained. I appreciate that even on some of Norwegian Cruise Line's oldest ships, such as Norwegian Sun, the staterooms have a relatively modern feel and have been refurbished to make them comfortable. Even the public areas on the oldest ships have been refurbished in recent years and are thoroughly maintained and updated. This ensures that guests will have a great cruise experience on board Norwegian ships, no matter the vessel they choose. Next up, a con. You need to read the fine print. Part of NCL's Free at Sea offerings is the Free at Sea promotion, which is frequently run by NCL and offers guests the choice to pick and choose from a list of available promotions to further customize their vacation. Some of the advertised perks include things such as drink package, Wi-Fi, shore excursions, second guests for free, specialty dining, and more. However, it can be important to read the fine print on these offers, as some may sound like they're all-inclusive. After reading the details, however, guests might find that these offers are not quite as good as they thought at first glance. For example, the free Wi-Fi promotion may in fact mean a free allotted amount of minutes, not free unlimited Wi-Fi. Additionally, the free specialty dining promotion may be for one or two free specialty dining meals, but not necessarily free specialty dining for the entire cruise. Next up, a pro, affordable sailings to international destinations. We have been able to sail to some great international destinations with Norwegian Cruise Line several times now, all due to their affordable prices. For example, our cruise around the United Kingdom was a 10-day voyage that embarked from Southampton, England, and cost about $3,000 for two people in a standard inside stateroom. This price also included round-trip airfare from Florida, which was a great deal. Norwegian Cruise Line offers many great itineraries during off-peak seasons, making these sailings more affordable. Next up, a con. Crowded pool areas on newer ships. Something that I have noticed on board some of Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ships, such as the Norwegian Viva, is the crowded pool area. Oftentimes on board some of the newer cruise ships, it can be challenging to find a lounge chair by the main pool area, due to cruisers reserving chairs, and there can be often no space for many guests later in the day. In contrast, I have not experienced this problem on older Norwegian Cruise Line ships. 
It seems that on board many of the older ships, there's less of a frenzy to grab a lounge chair on the pool deck. Of course, this may be due to several factors. Many of the older Norwegian cruise line ships are utilized to sail European itineraries, which could mean it is less warm outside. Additionally, newer Norwegian cruise line ships tend to be at capacity more frequently than older ships, meaning there are simply more passengers on board. While this may not be an exact con, it is something to note when considering booking a new Norwegian cruise line ship versus an older one. For those guests wishing to get a lounge chair near the main pool deck, I recommend waking up early to find a chair, as it can get rather crowded in the afternoon. Next up, a pro. Smooth embarkation and disembarkation. Something that Norwegian Cruise Line does well is embarkation and disembarkation. I've experienced efficient and speedy embarkation and disembarkation processes during all of my NCL sailings. Once it is embarkation day, guests are looking to get on board as soon as possible to start enjoying their cruise. Norwegian Cruise Line does a good job of getting all their passengers on board sooner so that they can start enjoying their vacation. Guests can check in for their cruise in the Norwegian Cruise Line app 21 days before their cruise embarkation day begins. Downloading the app ahead of time will give you more time to explore all of its features before you are on the ship. I have experienced efficient and easy disembarkation on board each Norwegian Cruise Line ship that I have sailed on. I highly recommend that guests wake up early on their disembarkation day and make their way off the ship. Getting off the ship early will ensure that guests do not have to wait in long lines. Additionally, Norwegian Cruise Line offers guests the ability to book airport transfers through the cruise line. This means that guests can arrange transportation from the cruise port to the airport, either on embarkation day or on disembarkation day. These transfers can be a great feature for guests looking to make their travel logistics as simple as possible. Next up, a con. Great stir up K. When it comes to cruise line private islands, Norwegian Cruise Line is one of the leading names in the industry, as they were one of the very first cruise lines to acquire a private island in 1977, Great Stirrup K. Great Stirrup K can be rather polarizing amongst cruise line guests. There is not a ton to do on shore. For this reason, frequent cruisers may prefer the more lively private islands, such as Royal Caribbean's Perfect Day at Coco K. However, Great Stirrup K is one of my personal favorite private islands. I think that for guests who are looking for a relaxed day in the beautiful Bahamas, Great Stirrup K is an awesome destination. While there might not be a lot of activities on Great Stirrup K, this island is beautifully maintained and is the perfect place to relax and take in the views and warm sunshine. Next up, a pro. Comfortable and modern staterooms. On every single Norwegian sailing, I have stayed in the most affordable stateroom offered, an inside interior cabin. While they may be the most affordable of the rooms on board Norwegian Cruise Line ships, these standard inside staterooms are very comfortable and have many modern amenities, making them the perfect home at sea. Additionally, Norwegian is the leading cruise line in the field of solo cruising. NCL has some unique studio staterooms that are specifically designed for solo travelers and come with their own exclusive amenities and benefits. And to finish up, everyone's able to come to their own conclusion about the pros and cons of any given cruise line. However, these are my personal thoughts about the positives and negatives when sailing with Norwegian Cruise Line. This list of pros and cons are just some of the things that I have taken note of so far in my sailings with Norwegian Cruise Line and I hope that they can help prospective cruisers make informed decisions when looking to book their next cruise. And so that concludes our list of the pros and cons of sailing with Norwegian Cruise Line. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we hope that you will consider liking and subscribing. Additionally, check out more articles and content over at Cruise Blog. Until next time, happy sailing and have a great day.